Dude, this game is missing, um... Are you kidding me? This... Br Bro, he's, he's gonna try to launch nukes. The British have developed nuclear weapons. They're preparing a full-scale invasion. Oh, the tables have turned. Can we capture his... Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Where? Oh, no. He's gonna hit Augsburg. Nuclear launch. Det oh, God! Oh, my God! He nuked Berlin! Ah! He's nuking everything! What in the... What in the... Terminator 3 is going on? Oh, my God. Wow. I can't believe it. Oh, he's doing it again! How many nukes do you have within 10 minutes, dude? Hey, I'm developing nukes. Hey, I have all the nukes. Like, what in the... Oh, my God. I want him to be dumb and just, like, um... Like, launch nukes at the beach. He's just nuking every city! Augsburg down. Strasburg down. Well, a Berlin's been hit, too. Well, this game doesn't need an introduction, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Rise of Nations Extended Edition. This game back when I was in high school was an absolute banger. Coming out, I think, sometime in like, I don't know, 2004 or 5. I played the hell out of it up until about 2010 when I got some operating systems, some new PC where it just didn't work. Fell by the wayside, and now I'm back to play it again. Thank God, because this is an absolute masterpiece and severely underrated. I'm sure a lot of you remember this game or know this game, but if you're a big fan of games like Age of Empires and if you love all the traditional, um, like the Sierra City Builder games like Pharaoh or Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom, it's kind of like that, but also like the Empire Earth game as well. I don't know, man. It combines a lot of great stuff and this game is phenomenal. There's also another game like it called like Rise of Legends, I think, something along those lines. You guys can correct me, but it's a real great game with the expansive territory, building of a nation over time. It's, of course, all the way from, like, uh, kind of like caveman times all the way up to uh, modern and futuristic, too, with, like, things from all the way to sling, you know, troops that throw a rock to, well, basically nukes and B-2 bombers. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start ourselves a solo game and simulate something along the lines of, I don't know, Battle of Britain. We'll see how it goes. Who knows? But anyway, welcome aboard. Good to see you all here. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Let's go. Yo, that loading screen though, Volksgrenadiers, Tiger Tank, did you, did you see that? It was like really brief, but alright, here we are. Well, I said that we were going to go for a 
Battle of Britain type thing, so I guess it's kind of maybe it taking place in the winter. However, wait a minute, we are now, of course, back long, long ago, like prehistoric times or whatnot, or, well, maybe just after that. Anyway, we start in the Classical Age, it seems like, or just before, all the way up to the Information Age. Damn, badass. Build a bunch of troops, we gotta get things done, like sending out our scout, and uh, there's different game modes for this game as well, like Assassin and whatnot. Um, and like 2v2s. Man, I gotta play this again with like friends and stuff. Let's see if we can build ourselves some farms here, get some food going. So we gotta worry about food and wood to start with and money and then work our way up to things like iron and uh, oil and uh, other things that are relevant later in the ages and stages. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a, maybe a granary. Yeah, we gotta get that food going so we can get the barracks up. All right, did I just use the word bear? Oh boy, we're like literally in the corner of the map too, like right up against the edge. All right, so there should be like a channel or a canal or you know, a body of water between us, kind of like uh, between France and uh, the UK. Let's see, we've got four farms now, three, four, yeah, four farms. Okay, let's go with another farm. And uh, once the, um, the granary is up, I wonder if we can assign people to automatically work on that. Anyway, once that's up, we can research uh, technology to make it faster to, uh, you know, like harvest or give us a bigger food benefit. This game's all about like research, 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 research. There's so much stuff to research in this game, like not only from your library, but also the barracks themselves and each individual building, like a logging camp and stuff also have things that they can do. So let's get the boys working on the granary. Dude, I can remember, by the way, that this game was so popular. I can remember one of my like, uh, I was in a, I can't remember, like a uh, algebra class or some sort of math class in high school. And one of the teachers was like, hey bro, Listen, I know you like games, nerd. I know you. And if you do really well on this next test, I'm going to buy you that uh, that Age of Empires game that's coming out. It's like, oh, you mean Rise of Nations? Oh, yeah, dude. And man, oh, man, that was sweet. Teacher actually bought me the copy of my game, which was like, wow, that, that's cool, dude. Awesome. I think he was just bribing me because I was probably the... <laughs> it's like he was probably gonna lose his job if one more kid didn't pass, so he just bribed me with a, uh, with a game, but who knows? I don't know, maybe. It was a cool teacher, though. All right, let's see. We want to do... Oh, a sawmill. That seems good. All right, I think I saw that. All right, cool. Now we got a watchtower, so we can watch out for trouble. All right, let's see if we can make another city, shall we? Let's go to commerce, I think. City, state. That'll allow us to build more cities. And let's go scout ahead. So we set our scout here to automatic. They'll actually walk around and look for uh, points of interest for us. There's also stuff on the map that we can find to harvest. Uh, that we can actually... Yeah, tobacco here that we can use as a... Um, like, we can send a merchant there to continuously farm the research or resource, and I think some things can be, like, uh, research points, or, yeah, right here, like, ten, plus 10 university, plus 10 commerce, or whatever, whatever they call it, but, yeah, good stuff. Not to mention there's also stuff you can, like, one-time find to give you, like, plus 20 wood or whatever. Okay, looks like we're maxed down on the food problem. Um, let's go ahead and increase commerce, and let's go to war soon. We need a lot of food, though, to build an army, but that's why we're building a second city. So we can actually go towards the coast. Scout out a little bit here. Damn, this music is iconic, my man. Can't wait till we can get, like, paratroopers and stuff. Okay, let's go for a village here. Uh, must build within friendly territory. Oh, how do we expand that? Oh, probably with the uh, research. Uh, or we could build a city to expand that as well. So maybe that's a way to do that. Where's our border? Right there. All right, right on the border. Cool. Okay, let's get somebody to build a merchant for us. Uh, there we go. A Yeah, market. Cool. All right, there we are. Dude, I love when the cities uh, update too. Like, first everything's like made of, like I don't know, stone or adobe or uh, thatch or whatever. And then eventually, when you get into like the World War I era, whatever they call it in the game, I think it's like the Industrial Era. Yeah, the Industrial Age is like World War I. So that's kind of like uh, the towns changed to be all brick and like concrete and stuff. It's kind of cool. All right, let's get some more people cracking. We now got a bonus to wood production for doing that. Let's go ahead and get somebody up here to build this town. So we start with Berlin. Oh yes, now we got our marketplace. We should probably uh, build a trader and somebody to get that tobacco for us. Nice, dude. Dude, imagine playing this game with uh, friends in modern times. This is available. This is now on Xbox Game Pass, by the way, too, which is what I'm playing it now. Uh, so this is going to be great to do like a 4v4 or something like that. And just imagine playing like in modern times. Before it was hard to play because everything was all about like internet connectivity and such. And back then the internet, it, it was ass. It was it was not good. Uh, but now, you know, it's like, dude, finally technology's up to the level to where this game can actually be paid tribute, right? Like where there's like no frames dropped or anything like that. Good. All right, get your donkey over there. 
Don Quixote, and let's go ahead and build ourselves a, uh, what do we got here? Oh, dude, the music's changing, too. Can we build, oh, we can't build a mine yet. We need to get to the classical age. Let's do that. The faster we can uh, tech up, the faster we can get to, like, World War II era, which is kind of what I want to do. But, of course, uh, you know, there's even nuclear missile silos in this game. I think at the start you can fire V2s, like cruise missiles, and then eventually work your way up to, like, uh, atomic bombs and such. I think you might even be able to build bombers. Right, let's go ahead and do that. Dude, did that just say the AI up updated to level 2? Oh, damn. They're on par with us. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's... Nice music. Oh, there it is. Right there. Missile silos. Requires level 2 military in modern age. Okay. And there's also aircraft. So we have a air base there, too. Cool. All right, let's get to it. We need more food, more troops, more everything. Let's build a university at Augsburg. There we go. Uh, we should be able to do mining too, right? Yep, so let's start mining. How many people could be here? Six? That's a good start. Let's just get one down. Every town's got to mine. Every town's got to make food. We must produce, produce, produce. All right, you two go out and explore. Uh, let's see. What, what else can I build? Oh, well, wow. We can actually build uh, monuments. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. Increases your wealth rate by 30%. Oh, wow. Good food going, though. Okay, back to Augsburg. Let's build the university there. Uh, food commerce cap. Okay, so we are making way more food than we need to. That's good. Uh, let's do military finally, and then science. And let's start pumping out the people. We'll do like four more here at Berlin. Okay, we can also capture enemy cities in this game too, and I think there's uh, some way where we can like annex them or something, but it takes a while to like uh, convert them or whatever you call it into your territory. The battles can go on forever. There's even like a conquer the world mode in this game too, where I think it uh, sets you up into different, oh God. Oh, he moved his capital, weird. Uh, but yeah, there's like a conquer the world mode where I think you have to fight against different nations each time as your own nation. So if you're playing as like, uh, I don't know, let's say you're playing as Egypt or something, like eventually you go up against, um, I forget all the nations in the game, but let's just say you go against the Turks and then you start fighting the Germans and then you invade France or something like that. Cool. All right, let's pump it out. What's the hotkey for this? Hotkey is V for villagers. Makes sense, but I'm going to just do it the inefficient way because that's just fine by me. Ah, oh, there we go. More people trained up. Let's go, baby. All right, we need to make some more wood here. Did we build a logging camp? I did not do that. We need to do that. So it's the woodcutter's camp. No, not woodcutter's camp, but the sawmill. There we go. No, I built that. Sawmill's down. We just need a foundry, but I don't think we got that. Oh, we do. Cool. All right, let's produce that iron at Berlin. Get you two on that. Okay, should we build another dock? Might be a good idea. We can eventually start making warships here shortly. Can we put down like a military tower? Oh yeah, right there. That'll prevent a little invasion if they hit the beach. Got to fortify. Build that Atlantic wall early. All right, let's see. Next is military level two. Let's do more commerce related stuff. And I'd like to build another town too. Can we queue research? Let's see. Oh yeah, cool. We can queue up research, nice, nice. Dude, I can't tell you how many hours I put into this game just trying to like recreate battles from World War II and stuff and like go into the uh, map editor and whatnot. Oh damn, you could change your nation to a republic? I forgot all that stuff. Yeah, that's right, the enhanced edition. I played the OG edition, but the uh, more hand like, the enhanced edition allows you to change your, uh, you can build, like, a senate or, like, government. You can actually change, like, your government type, which gives you, you know, bonuses and debuffs based on what you choose. You know, good and bad with any, any, uh, changes like that. That's pretty cool. We'll build the senate there. I now am the senate. Yay! I am the senate. I'm the big boy. What have we got for, uh, vehicles? We've got ourselves a bark. Wow, I've never heard of that before. Uh, good versus fire ships, transports, and weeks versus heavy. Oh, let's go uh, harass the enemy with uh, fishing. We'll go build a couple of ships real quick. All right, let's keep the uh, ships flowing, the villagers pumping out. Let's go. Looks like there's another... Bears? Oh, of course. Why? Come on, man. Every game I play, it's always the damn bears. Every time. Bear emote timestamp down below in the comment section. Do it, do it, do it. All right, we can be a republic or a... Oh, we can work our way all the way down to... We got uh, monarchy, socialism, capitalism. I guess we'll uh, 
Military research and barracks units are 15% cheaper. Oh, Alright, let's go down that way. We'll play our role. Now, eventually the cavalry units become uh, like vehicle bays or something, I remember. Like all your cavalry are eventually upgraded to like uh, early armored cars and things like that. Actually, pretty cool. We'll build a barracks and a uh, stable there for now. And then all we got to do is build some more farms. Oh, we can build another city too. Uh, let's build some farm fields outside of town. Well, on the edge. We'll build another city. Not enough timber. You need 110. Really? How much to build another logging camp? Just food. Cool. Up to six citizens. Seven. Good enough for me over there. All right. Nice. We got everybody working on all the iron. That's good. Oh, nice. All right. The Navy's ready to go. Head on out, boys, and go scout. Wow. That looks like Tom Hanks raft and... Um, the hell is it called? Uh, oh, that's very narrow. Wow, that is... Wow. <laughs> like in... Uh, what is it? Castaway? Look at how narrow that... Uh, wow, I was expecting it to be a little bigger. The map size I chose is anywhere from two to three players, but I still expected it to be a little bit more than just a river. Okay, well, I guess we're crossing the Rhine into uh, British held territory. Oh, here we are. That's me, I guess. Oh, we can actually... Uh, ambush, too, yeah, for money. Okay, how are we doing our research? Let's get some more stuff pumping out here. Let's go to the medieval times. Get some more research done. Research, research, research. Troops, troops, troops. People, people, people. I think every time you make a unit, too, they become a little bit more expensive each time. So you can't... You can spam, but it's a little harder to do. Wow, we can upgrade to Conan. Nice. That's literally what he looks like. Uh, let's see, we got slingers. Uh, scouts. Did our scout... Is he dead? Where's our scout? I don't know. Where's that other market guy? There he is. Okay, let's get you to go to the bears. Looks like there's a thing of silver here too, so let's make another one of those. And another merchant for trade. Yeah, we're in the medieval times now. Yay! Doesn't really look like it though. Finish the rest of that research. Alright. So we can now produce up to 150. So iron is being produced at max. Let's build some more farms. Nice. Man, this is really like one of the greatest, most underrated real-time strategy games of all time, honestly, because it's like, it, it definitely hits different than Age of Empires, but it also in many ways feels like playing a civilization game too. When I first started playing it, I was like, wow, this is really like Civ, except like RTS, because of course you could build uh, all sorts of different, um, you know, things like outside your city. It wasn't that you were necessarily building a city, but more like you were building the things outside of a city, but it also built like it were, um, Real-time strategy as well, because you could build defenses and such, like in Age of Empires. I don't know. This is kind of cool. There's whales there. That should be a bonus. How do I... Oh, wow. Plus 10 iron. Increases sailing ship speed by 20%. Wow. All right. That's a big bonus. Let's see. Um, how do I get the... Um, is there a way to get the merchant out there, or do I need to build, like, a merchant at the docks? Or actually, maybe I can use the fisherman for that. That might be a thing. Let's check. Ah, oh, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Well, regardless, we'll need to make more of those um, merchants and traders and stuff like that. We need to make another city, too. But let's make sure we max out our food production. So what? We're making plus whatever food. Of course, by having the building in the town, we can get a little bit more advantage there. A lot cheap. How do I destroy this? Oh, there we go. Delete key deletes all. There we go. Okay, military units. Oh, looks like we have ourselves another whale. Make some more uh, fishing boats. Definitely make some more fishing boats. That'll take care of a lot of a f the uh, food thing for us. Let's also build another university. We need knowledge. Big brains. Let's go. YouTuber, your APMs are inefficient by 0.01%. Re yes. Yes, they are. All right, we have ourselves a church, too. Oh, come on, man. I want to place it directly behind the library. Let me do it. I gotta, I'm got. i going to be picky. I have to. It's got to look cool. There we go. Okay, what else we got? Let's do another... Uh, we're good on food. We should probably increase the amount of wood coming in. But we're at maxed on that as well. So let's build another market. Maybe we could build a Boston market? They got good chicken, right? No? Ooh, look at that food coming in. Damn. 
Okay, let's build, uh... Let's see, a few more people here at the town. And then let's build some more troops. Our first troops. Actually, we should upgrade. These guys already suck. Crossbowmen. Yeah, let's upgrade to, uh... Next tier. Cool. Alright, fishing boats are ready. Let's go get those whales. Get that bonus for metal. Kind of weird that it produces metal, but okay. Whatever. I guess maybe eventually it'll produce oil when we discover that. Oh, and we're into enemy territory. Uh-oh. And they're not happy with us. Oh, boy. Run, bro! Oh, he almost died to death. Okay, they've seriously got an army. I was not expecting that. Go ahead and build... Uh, We'll build five of those. Let's build some archers. I think that's five-ish. Transport. Nah, we're not going to do any transport yet. We're going to wait for them to attack and then claim to be the victim. That's how we're going to do it. Good. All right, what about the uh, research? Let's go for... Uh, let's see, not enough cash for that. We'll just keep going for the military. Next will be, uh, well, money's coming up. We need another town, though, for a university and for more trade. Does it work where, like, the further the towns are away from each other, is, is that how it works, where it's, like, the more money you make for the longer distance that they have to travel, I think? It's like that in Age of Empires as well, so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Recruiting everybody in town. Yeah, okay, we're maxed down on food, maxed down on everything but knowledge and money. Let's just send everybody who's free up here. Everybody's going to be doing some building. Okay, let's build another barracks. Oh, wait a minute. Siege factory. That's cool. Build one of those down here. You two get on that. Nice. I'm glad we have so much free hands around. Do we, do we have any research? Requires level 3 science. Okay. Yeah, I thought this game was like really, really complicated when I first played it too. Because there was nothing else quite like it. But uh, it's a good one, man. Oh, this... Gives us a free foot unit every 30 seconds, plus one, two seconds for... Oh, damn. We should definitely overwhelm the enemy with, like, military troops. Spam, spam, spam. The Blitzkrieg. All right, let's uh, wait for that. Over there, work on the... Oh, well, it's not worth it working on the iron mine. Let's just go build the town. All these people here now work on uh, building a marketplace. There we go. Maybe we'll work on a church, finally. We can get a healing unit up. It is medieval. Uh, we're in the mid medieval times, right? Oh yeah, I guess it makes sense. Well, although that doesn't even look like a church. That does not even look like a medieval church that we're making. There we go. All right, you guys help with that. Okay, yeah, I want more, more and more traders. Let's get some more of those guys. Wow, look at that. Nice. Groups are in a formation. Cool. I don't trust them versus the enemy just yet, though. Let's upgrade the archers. Yeah, all right. Can I build that monument now? I want to build up a sweet monument. The Terracotta Army gives us free ground troops. Seems kind of cool. Let's do it. All right, boys. Head on over. Yeah, brother. Okay, we need more cash. Oh, at least we got all this knowledge. Hey, taxation. Ah, yes. Only available at the church, I guess. Oh, well. That makes it so you have to build everything. Can't just get away from it by building, like, a town hall or, like, the Senate building. Okay. Uh, what else can we do? Could build another... Nope, we got a market here. We've got uh, universities in each town, right? Yep, only one. Let's see. Uh-oh. Richard... King Richard... Getting into the gunpowder age, bro. Getting kind of advanced, bruh. Alright, I'll pick it up then on my end. Gonna be doing tons of research. Oh, damn, we're even close on money. Nice, we're maxing out. I mean, not great that we maxed out, but we're upgrading now, so that's cute. Oh, a supply wagon. Oh, that's for uh, supplies in enemy territory for attrition. This game taught me a lot about that kind of stuff, like attrition and um, long-range artillery and such, and about, um, what do they call it, annexation or whatever, when you finally attack a city or whatnot. Oh, that's kind of cool. 
The enemy cities are covered in snow. Well, so is ours, but it's a little harder to tell. Some of these buildings look more Greek or Roman. A combo of the two. Okay, you're all done there, huh? All right, let's give you a job opportunity for another barracks over here, I suppose. Do two of those together. We'll make Augsburg our first, uh, or rather, our major military city. Ooh, hello, I hear something. Oh, hey. I notice you're doing a little attacking over there. I'm warranted. Okay, then. That's fine. Build a fire raft. Knock his ass out. Go with a couple. How about a couple? Wow. Unwarranted attack from the British. Can you believe that? Yeah, I get wrecked, sir. Wow, that doesn't even do much damage. I guess we need the bigger size, huh? Look at him go. Yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this game even allows us to have submarines. Sweet. Ah, uh, the sinking animation is so cool. I'm sure there's plenty of mods for this game, too. If you guys uh, have watched this far, by the way, go ahead and give me some suggestions, because I'd love to play this one with the boys. Oh, the Karak. Okay. I only knew that from Star Citizen, another thing that now I know. Oh, there's our military units. Sweet. Elite Javelineers. Cool. Yeah, there's our lazy bones in the city. Oh, uh, boy, everything's pretty much close to being maxed out again. All right, this time we're going to try to maximize our advance into the next realm. So let's do uh, commerce level and then gunpowder. And we got a lot of knowledge to unlock here. Enemy attacks again. Okay, we now have access to the characters. Oh, look at that! They're actually attacking us with gunpowder. In the gunpowder age? No way. Wow. Rude. Let's see if we can build a fort. Oh, da oh damn. Oh, damn. He changes his government type to democracy as his invasion hits the beach. Awesome. He's delivering democracy, brother. Now right, let's wreck his ships. All right, let's get our troops up. Get crossbowmen. It looks like he's getting clapped. Troops are going around that way. It's going to be a little bit of a problem for him. Gunpowder age complete. I think they're trying to flank around. Not before we get him here, though. This was also one of the first games I can remember where, like, when you would select... I think if you select all your units here, it only selects, yeah, the military units when you do a select all like that, which is really helpful for when you're, like, doing an invasion or something. Okay, we're going to lose that town. Keep more trade nearby. He's still attacking us even, even after all those attacks. Now we'll get some more research done. At least we'll build a castle there. All right, so this town should be... What is it? What happens when a town gets hit? Reduced. Yeah, that's what happens. It becomes reduced. It's on discount. Oh, damn. Can we kill the king? The president. Oh, right. The king president. Yes, the president, King Richard III. He's not only is he a king, but he's a president, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Kill the king. Let's have the troops. He picked a bad town to attack, like we constantly get free troops. And we'll make sure we defend our beach here too. Make sure that any other invasions get hit by towers. All right, let's build some gunpowder, gunpowder frigates, and show them our gun power. We do two. Seems good to me.
All right, military is ready to go again. Uh, I think we killed the king. Not sure, but pretty sweet if we did. Nice. Okay, we'll get that guy into position. No, they took out my wagon. I needed that for wagon stuff. I needed to circle those in the old west. Oh, nice. The church looks cool. That's what I'm talking about now. The temple. Keep researching stuff. All right, so we don't need to really expand as much anymore. Now we just got to research, research, research. So let's do everything we can, knowledge-wise. The only thing we don't really need more of is iron, but that'll eventually need to be upgraded anyway. We're going for more knowledge because knowledge is power. Ooh, we can get spies, too. All right, well, he left his wagon behind. Sucks to be him. Rossberg is now secure. It was reduced, but... Got him, boys. Love the uh, Gandalf meme down here. You guys notice that? That is that is the Gandalf emote for sure. Or the meme. There we go. All right, go build some houses there. Oh, we're getting hit again. Oh, nice. Our navy's ready to go. Now we can re return the favor. Let's put our ships on auto explore. Yeah. Go mess with whatever you see. Love that. That is a great feature. Okay, let's see. We're making troops. We got our Senate here. Monarchy. Uh, let's see. Let's go into the Enlightenment Age and up our science a bit. Where's he at? He is at. Uh, how do we read about our enemies? Should be a way to tell where they're at. I forget. Oh, yeah, here he is. Uh, he's age four. And we're age four going into five. Nice. Oh, damn. He's taking out all of our ships. That jerk. My boys build up the navy. Build a couple more warships, and then we'll build a couple fishing boats. Make sure we get back to farming. We always want a constant income of food. Let's get a couple of, uh, oh, let's get troops out. Yeah, brother, yeah. Oh, nice. Musketeers. Oh, flamethrowers are up next. Nice. Get everything researched. It's gonna be a little bit of a slow production with one, but that's okay. We're focused more on Navy right now. Wow, what a absolute jerk. Oh, nice. His boats are almost finished off. Sweet. All right, let's see. I think we can repair these towns, can't we? Oh, nice. More research. Nice, nice. Ah, oh, yeah. Low food again. Where those fishing ships will come in valuable here shortly. Oh, there they are. All right, boys. Go grab some whales. Oh, and there he goes with more ships. It's a naval battle. Love it. The ships rock back and forth. And a battle in the north. Maybe we can blockade their harbors. Find out where those harbors are. Not sure where one is along the coast. Well, it's got to be right there, then. So are you being a jerk again? All right, that's it. I'm going. I'm going to the space age. I'm going to nuke you from orbit, only to be safe, just to make sure. Well, let's see. Any more trade? Oh, we can buy stuff now. That's true. Uh, we could probably sell a bunch of iron for cash. Forgot all about that. We need more knowledge. That we can't buy. Could build another town, though, at 160 food. 160 food will let us get more knowledge. So that's another great way to expand. There goes the Navy. All right, boys. Let's make sure they can't get out of there. Let's uh, bring them into the Enlightenment Age. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Okay. All right. Never mind. RTB. JK. 
Oh boy. Those boats are pretty lit. Maybe the towers will hit them. Oh god. Wow. Were those even used that much? Alright, I'm gonna upgrade our ships again. We gotta destroy their harbor. We can't allow the British to rule the waves. Oh nice, we get anti-tank rifles here shortly. Pretty sweet. Okay, we got idle people. Let's build a town down here. Cool. These guys are making javelineers again. Alright, well that'll be our home defense force then. What are we short on? Food is definitely becoming a problem because of the uh, constant battle for the fishing territory. Did we win the naval battle? I was too busy uh, goofing. Well, I guess so. I mean, they're not here anymore. They probably ran. That must have been their docks. Okay, let's build three ships. Two bombers. And then we'll build some ships that can attack from far, if we can. Looks like we should increase logging. For sure. Damn, this music hitting different, bro. Is this Castlevania? Yeah, we're getting a town built down there soon. Our guy's on the way. Nice. My guy. Oh, we got a few fishing boats out there. Actually, this is good to blockade. This will let us keep an eye on the uh, shores. It is almost time. Full scale, big O crazy invasion coming. Hey! Sir? Get your explorer out of here. I don't want your board anywhere near my property. Sir. Okay, Industrial Age. World War I begins! And we're gonna go into it first. We're gonna get that technological advantage. Ooh, here comes the fireboat. Sweet. All right, nice. What is it? Bra Braun Braunschweig? Does that have anything to do with Braunschweiger? Yeah, we're gonna need more food soon. Well, looks like we're maxing out on a lot of stuff again. Not bad. At least we're growing. All right, let's go scout. Wait, where are their docks? Oh, they're building one there. See if there's any boats nearby. Oh baby, submarines are a thing, and so are dreadnoughts. We're gonna need to, oh, we need to get somebody named Earl. I'm gonna go have to pump up some Earl. Pump up some Earl, brother, brother, yeah. Build another village, maybe. Cool. I think there's lots of ways too to limit in this game how quickly you progress and you can adjust everything. Oh, it's really cool. Hey, now we're getting into modern cities. Nice. Ooh, and there we go. Some serious barracks. The AT rifles up. Oh boy. Yeah, that's gonna be spendy. I hear like machine guns. Hey, there we go. There's lots of uh, oil deposits in the water. Alright, so we're gonna have to have offshore platforms. Cut down on his navy power. Yeah, there's a naval base there too. Okay, let's go see if we can attack these. Or at least see what he's got for ships. Uh, cannot what now? Just shoot. Go shoot stuff. Oh god. That's a lot of navy. Hey, I love that! The trade vehicles actually become, uh, yeah, the caravans become actual vans. Damn. Very nice. Okay, oil. Let's go there. I like how it shows you where it is. That's helpful. We're gonna get everybody on pumping out that Earl. Nice. All right, so we got a lot of ground deposits. That's good. What are we short on? Oil's oil and food are going to be a problem. Wow, we got clapped at sea. Well, at least we know where his naval bases are now. Oh, boy. Well, Britannia's ruling the waves. Oh, God, and he got into the Industrial Age. Oh, boy. 
Let's send over the old ships to give us some time to upgrade to new ships. Dreadnoughts and destroyers. Frankfurt? That'll give us the Frankfurter. Alright, we got a lot of oil to get. Oh boy, uh, more research then. Now we're going to have to kind of stop the research if we want the uh, troops and such built up. we got to invest in the troops. Ooh, we can get aircraft. Ah, oh, there's the auto plant. Now we can get tanks. Let's get an airport up. I think they have a limited range. Oh, there we go. We got our little commander's car now. What do we have for tanks now? Oh, yeah. Upgrade to armored car and tanks. Not enough Earl. Basic infantry. Upgrade to that. Nice. Now, oh, we can almost get bazookas. I love how it shows you what's next. You can kind of plan for it. But if you're seeing a lot of enemy tanks, it kind of reminds you, hey, chief, you can upgrade, and this is what you get if you do. Cool. Capitalism, democracy. Why, why, why did he pick that so early? I, I just love how a king became a president king. I love that. It's like George Washington. Well, let's add some more troops. I mean, uh, workers. All right, the only thing we're maxed out on is logging. Food's okay. Wood could be a little... Sorry, not logging, but mining. How do we build a uh, upgraded logging site? There we go, paper and engineering. Gonna need that for the wood production, especially for World War I planes. Can you guys go build that stuff for me? Thank you. Nice, planes are ready to go. My planes, helicopters, bombers. Ah, boy, it begins. We're starting to see it, boys. Here it is. Oh, cool, the uh, fire ships become submarines. Nice. Even more deadly. Uh, we need a trade down here. And we need a trader up here. We'll send people to these other cities too so they can work in a different industry after these are complete. Like for example, knowledge. Really need that research going. Well, we need a few more people to do it. Science. Oh wow, plus 15 knowledge. That's gonna be a great way to upgrade that. Let's go for military stuff. Oh, there we go. All right, the World War I Navy looking nice. We've got ourselves dreadnoughts and destroyers coming out. And submarines being researched. Give me another naval dockyard. I think the enemy controls a lot of the ocean right now. It's almost like they're British. Oh, yeah. They are. Okay, we ready? Ooh, nice. Big brig, brother, hauling some grain, brother. Yeah, yeah. Medicine, food, food. No, foot, mounted troops, created faster. Ooh. Also, speaking of healing. And let's get a... Can't we get out a priest or something? I thought that was a thing. Hey, look at this. Wow. The terracotta army has just been nonstop pumping out the invasion force. Oh, ho. Little does the enemy know. Early Volks Grenadiers. Excellent. Soon. Okay, let's upgrade to armored cars and tanks if we can. Ooh, machine gun. Give me a couple of those. Upgrade our scout. Give me a couple AT rifles. The Brits will more than likely have cavalry, which will be tanks probably. Place over here called London. What the hell's London? I've never heard of that at all. Never, ever have I ever heard of that. Ever. He said sarcastically. All right, let's get some submarines go. Hi, I hear an explosion. Oh, an invasion force. Get him with the dreadnoughts. Oh boy. You're ready to hit him at the beach, boys. Gallipoli up the ass. Oh god. Oh no. Wait, what? Did they just, like, charge in first with their... Okay. They sent in their, uh... Their general staff. Nice move. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, this is Gallipoli. Oh, this is... Oh, the humanity. Get some biplanes up. 
Oh. What? He's in the... Oh, wow. That was quick. Bro claimed victory and already said he was on to the modern age. What a turd. We'll see about that, sir. Okay, let's build some more universities. Get them big brain emotes pumping out. There's the big brain. Big brain. Big brain. Big brain. Pump them out, boys. Should be one over here for Frankfurt. Get some more money going. Yep. Well, at least we're kind of, like, locking down the shore. Oh, wow. That was a hell of a battle. And there must be more. I see the ship firing off. Oh, there's our artillery gun. Get him, boys. Love that World War One artillery in this game, dude. That's so damn cool how that looks. You could really play out, like, uh, the Eastern Front on a massive scale in this game, too. Put on all the, the uh, villages and the, the cities between uh, Germany and, and all the way between Moscow. <coughs> oh. Wow. Just hits different. All right, let's get the army ready to go. Brits unwarranted, unwarranted in their attack. Multiple attacks. And they're going on to the modern age as if nothing ever happened. We, did, we won't forget. There we go. Oh, I, is that... Do I hear bombs? What the... F in the hell? Not cool, bro. Scramble. Los. Get those planes in the air, bro. Get them before they get across the channel. Dude, this game is missing, um... Are you kidding me? This... Br the hell? Bro, not cool. Oh, we gotta... We gotta stop that before that happens. Hell to the nah. And now he's attacking with aircraft. You, you little turd. I think we gotta build anti-aircraft guns. Yep. There we go. Building as many as I can. Wow, the British are gonna try to nuke us. You gotta be kidding me. Operation Sea Lion is a go, boys. We gotta get across. Well, it's not gonna be too hard with the um, with the ships. We should be able to give ourselves a clear channel there, but once we go in, we gotta go all in. All right, let's go to the modern age. We need 600 uh, oil. We're not making anywhere near enough. Let's. City of Augsburg is under attack. Yeah, he's doing air raids. Get the troops over here. Spread out the army a little bit. You guys. I need... Wait, are those spies? Wait a minute. I can't build anything with this guy, can I? Oh, no, we're good. Oh, we can build uh, oil refineries. I didn't realize that was a thing. Is it like, what, one per town? The British have developed nuclear weapons. They're preparing a full-scale invasion. Oh, the tables have turned. We gotta get in there now. No more waiting. We gotta go for York. Uh, oh, that looks like a fortress. <laughs> the Hanging Gardens. Can our ships actually shoot at those uh, aircraft? Oh, it doesn't matter. Let them, let them be distracted by the cities. Oh, we gotta get into the modern age for our invade-age inv in. Those any aircraft guns built. Get rid of population limit. Get those guns going. Wow, it's the Atlantic Wall now. Oh yeah, I forgot to bring supply. Oops, my bad. Well, I had to attack. I mean, the guy's got nukes. What am I going to do? Sit back and chill? We capture his. Oh God! Are you kidding me? Where? Oh no! He's gonna hit Augsburg. Nuclear launch. Det oh God! Oh my God! He nuked Berlin. He did it. Oh, those sick. Oh, he's doing it again. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, <laughs> bro! 
I did not expect this. Ah! He's nuking everything. What in the... What in the Terminator 3 is going on? Oh my god. Wow. I can't believe it. He's clapping with nukes. I don't have a library. Wow. That's amazing, boys. Good thing we attacked when we did. Like, we got nothing left. Luckily, we have some beach defenses. We gotta get that oil going again. Oh, he's doing it again! How many nukes do you have within 10 minutes, dude? Hey, I'm developing nukes. Hey, I have all the nukes. Like, what in the... Oh, my God. I want him to be dumb and just, like, um... Like, launch nukes at the beach. He's just nuking every city! Augsburg down. Strasburg down. Well, a Berlin's been hit, too. Frankfurt's probably next. Holy crap, everything's on fire. What a hell of a time. Oh, he's trying to uh, get his troops out there. Well, at least we own the waves now. We could hit him with a naval blockade, but now here comes the uh, invading armies. I'm hitting him with as many naval defense gu uh, I mean, uh, anti-aircraft guns as I can. He's bombing construction sites. I can't believe it. Oh my god, what a battle. Wow. And we're not even into the modern age. Damn. Wait, now he's counterattacking. Get the ships out there, boys. Hit him on the beach. What a revert! I, amazing. <laughs> wow. How unexpected! You never know how the tables will turn in Rise of Nations. I love how the game plays out very quickly too. We went from basically caveman times to nukes within a matter of moments, and yeah, Rise of Nations has a hell of a lot of options and. Well, a lot of game modes, too, that are just awesome. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in for today's episode of Rise of Nations. Again, get it on Ep the uh, Xbox uh, Game Pass. It's really fun. And I'll be playing this uh, against some players sometime soon as well. Thanks for leaving a like on the way out. And thanks for supporting the highest underrated real-time strategy game of all time. It really is. Also, Halo Wars and a lot of other ones, too. What are some other underrated games you guys can think of that are real-time strategy? This is definitely one of them. And I want to see another one. If they made Rise of Nations 2... I'd freak out, and I would love to see it. So, let me know what you guys think for other great, wonderful, and real-time strategy games that are severely underrated and that are your favorites. This is definitely one of mine. Favorite, underrated, real-time strategy games are the best. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.